The first policy document on advanced practice physiotherapy was approved at the general meeting of the European region of WCPT in 2018. Development of this original document has taken place following discussion at the Education Matters meeting in October 2018 and February 2019. The title of the document was changed. The broadened context of advanced practice beyond specialization was recognized and the key attributes of an advanced practice rule was considered. Final revisions have taken place driving on the advanced physical therapy practice policy statement that was approved at the general meeting of WCPT in May 2019. As a summary of this document, advanced clinical practice in physiotherapy refers to a higher level of clinical practice with specific competencies and extended knowledge. There are many ways to obtain formal recognition as an advanced cl clinical practice physiotherapist, but European region of WCPT strongly supports formal programs as a way to develop the role in a country. Advanced clinical practice requires practitioners to demonstrate an extended range of competencies and European region recommends that member organizations follow a recognized standardized framework such as the European Qualification Framework Level 7. Evidence is beginning to emerge about how advanced clinical practice improves patient-client outcomes, enhance health system processes, and reduce healthcare costs, but further evidence is needed to fully demonstrate the value of advanced clinical practice. This document aims to support physiotherapists in the European region in their endeavors to advance physiotherapy practice, whilst at the same time protecting the public and ensuring patient or client safety. This paper can be used by member organizations to support discussion with physiotherapists, other health professionals, educators, and appropriate authorities and organizations in their own countries. There are various definitions of advanced clinical practice in a physiotherapy context. In this slide, we include two of them, one from the WCPT and the other from the European Qualifications Framework. The European region of WCPT recognizes that advanced practice refers to a level of practice rather than a specific rule, and is a broader term than a specialist, which does not indicate a level of practice. Four career pathways can be identified in physiotherapy. This document focuses only on the clinical pathway, advanced clinical practice. The development of advanced clinical practice is underpinned by the need to enhance the patient experience and improve patient care through the development of new models of practice and service delivery, as well as contributing to multiprofessional agency service development, education and research. Integral to the development of the advanced clinical practice rule is the need to ensure safe effective and high quality care.
due to the diversity among the different European member organizations, it's important to have a standardized competency framework for advanced clinical practice that can be used by them when developing a process for the formal recognitions of advanced practice. A competency level which aligns with the European qualification framework descriptors of level 7 should be used. The development of advanced clinical practice within physiotherapy should be considered within legal, regulatory, professional and organizational frameworks. Some examples of advanced clinical practice applied to physiotherapy are presented in this table. These rules can occur in primary, secondary and tertiary settings and do not necessarily need to be linked to a specific clinical specialities. They are illustrative of the breadth of advanced clinical practice, but are not intended to be prescriptive or to limit the advanced clinical practice of physiotherapists. Advanced clinical practice has the potential to impact positively on a number of stakeholders. Primarily, patients should benefit directly due to the use of enhanced skill of diagnosis, assessment and treatment that are underpinned by advanced clinical reasoning and a strong critical awareness and understanding of relevant research. The general public will benefit by increasing awareness of the expertise associated with the role. Physiotherapists benefit by having their advanced level of skill and knowledge recognized, thus improving their employability and their own professional and personal development. This may also have positive effects on the profession due to increased retention, particularly in the clinical environment. Consequently, there should be a positive impact on healthcare efficiencies and resources. There is clear evidence of the benefit of physiotherapists working in a substitution role. In such roles, they work in settings such as orthopedic and rheumatology clinics or emergency department settings, working alongside medical practitioners to triage patients into appropriate management pathways, including surgical or non-surgical management options. These are the recommendations for member organizations. Member organizations should inform their members about possible different career pathways and support them in developing the knowledge and skills underpinning advanced clinical practice. Member organizations should develop processes for recognizing advanced clinical practice and communicate to relevant stakeholders. Member organizations should facilitate facilitate closer links with higher education institutions, national health systems and competent authorities. The European region of WCPT recognizes the many ways to obtain formal recognition, but strongly supports formal programs as the most optimal way to develop the role in a country. Member organizations should prioritize clinical specialities that can be recognized in accordance with a specific socioeconomic and demographic trends and priorities, national health policy and a specific regulation requirement in their country. Member organizations should link the process for recognition of advanced clinical practice to the respective CPD processes. Member organizations should maintain and update advanced clinical practice information on the European Region WCPT website as is necessary to facilitate monitoring trends in the European Region. And member organizations should take 
an active role in advocating for the value and impact of advanced clinical practice. As a conclusion, the recognition of advanced clinical practice should primarily benefit patients and consumers of healthcare by improving quality of care and access to services as well as improve patient or client outcomes and reduce healthcare costs. It benefits physiotherapy as a profession by providing alternative career pathways for individual physiotherapists. The recognition of expertise within the profession to the employer and other stakeholders could increase the profile of physiotherapy, expand opportunity for physiotherapists and may also benefit the individual in terms of personal achievement. It could provide personal financial reward if linked to the grading structures within the profession. It may also facilitate mobility and employment across Europe in line with the European Skill Competencies and Occupations Classification System. Physiotherapists can benefit from engaging in work-based learning as well as from recognition of formal learning by the higher ed education institutions. Considering the diversity within the European region, it would be essential to continue to monitor how advanced clinical practice is developed and organized in different member organizations, and whilst evidence is beginning to emerge, further evidence is needed to fully demonstrate the value of advanced clinical practice.